Hi, it's Mr. Skelton, and I'm going to show you how to do the white belt song now on cello. And I'm also going to use this video for the, for the bass. It's very similar. It's just a little bit different way that we hold it. Cello, the top edge is against our chest, where if you can imagine there's a line going from one armpit to the other, that's sort of where it, it would sort of line up, make contact. And we have one leg on either side, so our knees are just at about where these corners are. And the only difference for bass would be we'd feel like we're up a little higher and be turned more like this. But overall, it's going to be the same idea. And so we're going to use our left hand. We're going to point at all of the objects. I just want to remind you that if you're watching this, don't copy me on the side that I'm using. Remember where your left side is, because I'm not a mirror. Like My left side is going to look like your right side. So we don't want to mix that up. Okay? So really think about that. I keep my right hand on my knee just to sort of keep it in place. And here's what it sounds like. Scroll and shoulders, bridge and toes, bridge and toes. Scroll and shoulders, bridge and toes, bridge and toes. Pegs and strings and two and holes. Scroll and shoulders, bridge and toes, bridge and toes. Very good. Now notice I'm not really trying to touch my toes, and I'm also, you know, it doesn't matter how exact I am when I point to the F holes. The most important thing is that I'm able to do all of this without the instrument going all over the place and me worrying about um, trying to catch it, right? It's your body that's keeping everything nice and steady so that your left hand, your, your arm, can be free to move all over the place and do what it needs to do. So I hope that's uh, a good bit of instruction for you. Now go practice and try it yourself.